How's it going guys? Right now on my channel so far I've been uploading some fishing and hunting videos and some photography videos, some behind the scenes on wedding shoots. This is something I've struggled with for a while but they're just not the same crowds. I know you hunters and fishermen don't want to see wedding stuff and some of you people that follow because of the wedding pictures probably don't want to see animals being shot. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to start a new channel. Might only happen in the new year but it's going to be dedicated to more production, photography, videography, behind the scenes on shoots, tutorials, all that good stuff. This channel right here is going to be dedicated to fishing and now hunting. I know very little about hunting and that's intriguing to me because I've been surrounded by fishing. I've guided fishing for the past number of years and the hunting world is just so new to me. I am so green. I'm not going to pretend to know anything, but I'm going to start filming my hunting experiences. I bought my first trail cam the other day, bought my first shotgun last week. I am excited to bring you guys along because for myself, hunting is very intimidating. It's it's not easy to just get into, not like fishing, you just grab a fishing rod and you just go down to the lake. Like you need someone to help you to show you the ropes. And luckily I've been surrounded by some people and I've been able to film hunting and, and create some great connections there that have been willing to take me out. Today we're going on a goose hunt. I'm bringing you guys along on my journey of learning how to hunt as well. to me fishing videos. But anyways, fishing and hunting here, photography, videography to start a new one. I'm getting into hunting. This is gonna be interesting. Thanks for coming along on the hunt and it's gonna be cold this morning, but we're gonna get us some geese and we're gonna show you the process. All right, we are already 10 minutes late because I'm filming. Going hunting near Altona in my backyard where I grew up with my buddy Kevin. Kevin and I have gone fishing a bunch and now he's kind of taking me under his wing to teach me a little bit about goose hunting. So anyways, I'm at Kevin's now, loading up the gear, taking Kevin's truck. I'll introduce you to Kevin shortly. So wake him up. Kevin's such a good dude. Ladies and gentlemen, best hunter in Southern Manitoba. Can I tell? Oh, nice. That is sick. Folks at home, look at that. Oh, sorry. His wife is sleeping and I'm really loud. I was excited to whip the headlamp. I forgot a headlamp this time. Anyways, this is Kevin. We're going hunting. Okay, 6.53, I'm already 20 minutes behind. That's okay. Hunting time is, what 7 time? 7.45. 7.45, what does that mean? It's half an hour before sunrise? Yes. Tell us about the scout. Tell us about what we're hunting this morning. All right, so we got a cornfield lined up, pretty worked, which is gonna be a little tougher to hunt it, but, and late season. We got a mix of blues, uh, some snows, some Canada's, lessers and graders, uh, mallards as well. So, scouting. Everything, up. we got everything. So yeah, it's kind of sweet. It's just outside of Altona. I shouldn't say a name. No, 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 we're just, just outside of beep. <laughs> no, it's not too much of a secret. Okay, guys, spread the set. It is legal shooting time already, but um, given how, oh, there's ducks already. There's freaking ducks. We gotta go. We gotta go. Holy smokes. He's gone! He's gone! Yes! Okay, the awesome part about hunting where we are in southern Manitoba is there's everything. I mean, we had snow geese circle over us, we've got ducks, and we've got geese. Ducks fly first thing in the morning, so before we're even completely set up, we had ducks, one landed in our spread. It was incredible. So as soon as Kevin was parking, we had, as soon as he came back, we had shots at birds already. If I wasn't setting up camera gear, I would have had a couple of shots. What do you call a, a group of ducks? It's a gag, gaggle of geese? Flock of ducks, a school? Let's see your dance skills, Kevin. That's good. <laughs> Lone goose coming in. He's close. Oh, yeah! That was so good. <laughs> Man, that was good. You took it. I couldn't even see. All of a sudden, it was just there and down. Another goose? Oh, this one's coming in hot. 
Okay, I'm taking this one, Kevin. <laughs> oh! Yeah, I got him! My safety was on! Oh, I was like, yeah. I can't do it, he's right there! Oh, man! I had the perfect shot, he was locked up, and my safety was on, and I tried to pull the trigger, and then I was like, well, I'm not gonna shoot over Kevin's head, so I waited. Kevin took a shot, missed. I think I hit him on the second, my first or second shot. That was just me being a bad hunter, but... That was fun. These lone birds, they're not as smart because when you get a flock, then sometimes they're all looking and all of a sudden one notices something's wrong and then it'll take off. But when you get one bird, they're like, oh, I need to find security. I need to find a group of birds. And then they lock in and sometimes commit a little bit better. All right, so you shot out at approximately 60 yards. That was a long like shot. So far. We got to do these. Did you get both those? Good job. That was good. Look at that beautiful, beautiful bird. That is gonna be delicious. Oh, I gotta pee so bad. But I wanna shoot birds. I also don't want GoPro footage of my Holy smokes. See all those ducks in too? Yeah, that's a lot of ducks. Better than nothing. <laughs> Gotta take what we can get right now. Oh! oh my goodness! That was a far lead. Oh, that's so far. I led that so far. I couldn't believe it fell. I was like, well, I may as well try. That's uh, about 90 yards out. Get it nice and close. Spread those wings out. That is a big bird. I'll not have that part. <laughs> Look at that. That is, what is that, a 15 pound bird? 12? Be pretty close. This is so much fun. Two more graders. Um, this is my best hunt ever. I mean, I've only been on three hunts, but this is good. Geese are very spooky though, but we're getting a few, so. <laughs> I'm sorry if I mess it up your hunt here. All good. But we're gonna, I gotta take a picture of this. this, this. <laughs> I'm all for this, but I'm gonna have a man in the field here. Oh yeah. In about, boy, <laughs> that, that's a good decoy. In, a, in about uh, half an hour. Okay. In the ground. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. No, it's man, just, I wish I was. Thank you for letting us hunt here. Yeah, it's been awesome. That is the nice man to let us hunt on his property. And I mean, that's important. The good relationships with the farmers, right? They're gracious enough to let us hunt on their property. You got to respect that. And Kevin's going to bring him some goose meat, it sounds like. Yeah. And, you know, so we can hunt it again next time. It's important to clean up all your shells and just respect that privilege because, you know, a hunter has one bad experience with one hunter. It might not even be you, but they have a bad experience and they'll say, okay, no hunting on my property ever. And that kind of sucks for everybody, right? So, Yeah. Look at that guy, what a stud. It's a good morning guys, good morning. I, it's, it's official, I am addicted to hunting. As a lesser, a baby, a baby goose. Ready? It's quite the pile, we got some work to do. That was good. We might hunt for a little bit more, but Kevin has something called a job that he already took the morning off of from. We need one more for our limit. One more. This might be it. Yep, that's it. Guys, that is a limit of geese. That is the first time I've ever done that. So I'm very excited. Our two man goose limit. Big old grater. Thank you for giving your life. You will be eaten and respected, beautiful bird.
Beautiful. This is incredible. What time is it, 11 o'clock and there's still birds moving? Guys, this is late season. These birds have been hunted. We are hunting within sight of Altona in the south central region of Manitoba. And ducks, geese, snow geese, more birds coming in here. It's wild. Look at that. Yeah, Kevin, do it. Call him in. <laughs> well, we are just stacking up the birds after a very successful hunt. Kevin was on the X. His calling was impeccable. And we got a bunch of birds. We're gonna do something that's new in Manitoba. Manitoba started a master hunter program. They have a master angler program. You catch a fish a certain size, you send in a picture, you get an award. They started with hunting last year and I had not entered any yet. So I'm gonna enter one of my ducks, one of my geese. Um, so you need to take one picture, one picture with the animal, one picture holding uh, the license with the animal. We'll get Ke Kevin, Kevin, look, how, look at the size of that. Kevin shot one too, so we'll, I'm gonna get my phone and we're gonna get Kevin's master hunter going. All right, so Kevin's got his federal license, his provincial license. I got my phone. We need to take a um, picture with the goose without the license and with the license. Three, two, one. That is a big bird. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. I'm gonna do the same. We will enter these online and soon we will get awards and we will be master hunters officially. And there's a bunch of different badges and different species. I think for the uh, waterfowl specialist, you need a couple ducks and a couple geese. But anyways, take a couple pictures now and we will pack these all up. It's been a good hunt. The next vlog, since this one's gonna be long enough as it is, we're gonna show how to um, prepare these birds. Kevin is a master cook, so we're gonna show a little bit of how to breast them and at least one or two ways to cook them. But anyways, thanks for coming along on one of my first hunts ever. I hope you found this somewhat educational. You can learn a little bit. I know hunting can be intimidating, but luckily when you have people like Kevin that help take you out, it makes it a lot more manageable. And I think it's something you can do if you just take those steps and go get someone to take you out that easy. Anyways, thanks for watching.